um, let alone our, our younger children, uh, who we want to make sure that we have, uh, um, I don't know what it's called these days because mine's older, but um, safeguards set up on the computer as to who can access them. Yeah, well, there's a there's a TED talk actually about how YouTube for children is probably one of the most destructive forces yeah. uh, known to man or woman. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to Gregory, just because of the HR specific headhunting and that that Gregory's uh, old baby, can yeah, you that's speak how to? I encountered it, Gregory. Somebody, and how often do we get that? Well, I couldn't tell you how often um, that happens, but it happens a lot. So, uh, I, you know, I was when before I was in business development, I was in recruiting for 11 years, both in agency and corporate world. And so um, it didn't intersect with my normal professional life. I didn't deal with a lot of like fake resumes, but um, I will share a quick story of a scam that involved my likeness. And what happened is uh, while I was recruiting and had the recruiting title, uh, they took my picture and um, my title and started emailing people on LinkedIn. So they look for people who are in the administrative field and that they have the, you know, thing around their th um, picture that said open to work. And so they would prey upon them and say, hey, we've got this remote uh, admin opportunity. Would you be interested? And especially in the, you know, Middle of COVID, it was, oh, sure, you know, they were, they're looking for work, they're absolutely interested. And the first clue that something was awry was that the interview was an email interview. No, nope, we don't do that. Recruiters <laughs> do not do interviews over email that's highly regular, and it's not a very good way to get to know somebody or chat or anything like that. You know, we want to speak to people, at least on the phone, in real time, to get a feel for who they are and their personality, see if they might be a cultural fit as well as a, you know, skill-wise fit. So a number of people, um, and I don't know who beyond the people actually contacted me about it, who started to think this was fishy, who might have fallen for this. So what they did, they basically did the interview through the email, made them an offer. Okay, you're hired. Here's the offer letter using Performa Group. You know, they took our logo and made this, you know, nice professional looking email um, offer letter. They accepted it and said, okay, we're going to send you money for your home office. And so they would FedEx them an actual check that had Pro Farmer Group's name on it uh, for them. And I assume, I mean, I don't know how all this works. I don't know how they get their you know banking information or whatever, but I assume by depositing that check, they're able to get that information wow. from them. And so I had two or three people contact me directly saying, hey, um, is this real? Was this you? And I'm like, I've never heard of it. Uh, this is not don't do anything don't share any of your personal information don't share your social don't cash that check uh please share as much of that information with me so i can send it to our security and so you know our our corporate counsel got involved our security cio got involved and they shut down that domain and they tried to you know help squash that and they actually put it on the website for a while that hey if you're getting these types of uh, advances from recruiters it's not true so, so that's that's the most serious thing that I've seen happen um, out there from a recruiting standpoint. Okay, uh, Robin, um, I, it's taken a while to come round to you, but you were the person whose po whose post I first saw. If any of you, uh, you can all share screen. So if you pull up one that you know is live currently, we can out him uh, or her uh here and now robin take us through your thinking oh you're going oh can you see this i can see this okay this this is the incident that triggered my poor job right okay now if you take a look at this guy claims to be danny lambert he posted a connect and grow with recruitment drive on LinkedIn. What caught my eye is he got the entire list of top person and bells of your name inclusive on this. 